What's up guys, hope you're doing well. Today's job we've got like a front door conversion. We're taking the old door out in combination. It's a bit old and tired. And we're breaking one side up and putting a composite door on, on the other side. So let's see if we get on today. Hope you enjoy and learn something. Right, Casey's on with knocking all this old render off here because we're going to put some new render on there. Yeah. Some more block with the more render in here and then the doors going that side. I'll just put in the garage to get the mix on. Got all the window out now and cleaning everything off. Oh, that's being re rendered here. Just cutting this because this is where we're going to build a block with pillar here. So you can see I've just cut that with. So I'm going to fix some block work up here. Got all the block work up now, and we're just gonna get KC to point it all up nice and bonnet. Here's how we're looking inside. Right, just here, I know, I know, I could have bonded that in there, but it's just quicker if we just put pieces in there. We put ties in here, and every core stain here at the bottom, so it's gonna be solid. We've got our vertical damp in there as well. Guys, that's the end of day one. We've finished for now. Casey has to go to golf. We've got the block with cup and the doors in, nice and bonny. The composite door, both sides of the block with cup. One side of the door fixed in. Everything's gone to plan. 
and it's nice. The snug looks pretty cool. We've got rendering to do tomorrow, so more rendering coming to you. And yes, we've got to go to berries in the morning, get all the stuff, come back and finish the job. Jobs are good. All the chaps, we're just at berries now, getting all our stuff, our trims and stuff, base coat and top coat for our rendering. So we're just getting that's the bottom bell cast bead. bead and we've got some trims for the, the sides. Massive place berries in it. We love coming to berries. All the stuff from berries now we've got everything we've got three top coat white one base coat and some two stop some stop pens and the bell bead for the bottom and what else did we get some waterproof as well to prime all the surface before we put all the stuff on right back to the job now back to wigan see you in a bit oh one thing yeah i put my seat belt on i always do anyway well, we're back on the job now need to take this side of old render off and get this prepped let's roll All right, that was quick again off with that Kangol machine. Now that side's off, all the renders off, all the old renders off now. So we just need to put all the trims on, put a waterproofer on, and then it's time for the base coat first. We're rendering this side and all the way around this side as well. So we're gonna put a, a stop end here. Whenever I am up to find the sunset, a flavor Whenever all the stars above are shining Then I know I'll never be alone Wherever all my wishes may be heading A part of us will never lead Oh, wherever in the world you may be hiding In a while I know Now right, folks, all the trim's on now, we've stuck them on and we've packed them in with some galvanised nails. And now we're ready to put some waterproof on. This side's done. What it does, it's just a bonding agent to help it stick a lot better the render. There's a road, a way to get to you. To get to you. Alright guys, okay, we're gonna put mix on now. Just gonna mix the base coat, so we've got some water. Got some water, just like a quarter fill. And some base coat. I'm just gonna use this drill as well with a mixing attachment.
look at this here. Two brews. Mmm. Don't work too hard, KC. Thanks very much, Sylvia and Job. Alright guys, all cleaned off now, washed down, that's it for today. Got the base coat on and the mesh is in. Got to leave it to dry for 24 hours now before we can put the top coat on. Then we've got to leave that to dry for 24 hours and then we can scratch it off. It's all finished and floated up now this side. I'll be ready for the scratch coat when I tomorrow. Alright guys, that's it for another day. We shall see you tomorrow. But if you watch the video, obviously you're gonna see me in three, two, one, magic. Right, we're back again for the final day. Let's get this job finished off. We're gonna do the scratch coat and then finish all the door off. Okay guys, this is what we're looking like inside. We've got some Thermalite Turbo Block. Now, we're gonna plasterboard it and skim it ourselves, so first of all, I'm gonna get a board cut. 12.5 mil plasterboard. And then, I'm gonna stick it on with some adhesive. This stuff is really, really tacky. Hence the name adhesive, it's like glue. Sylvia's just come out and she said to my dad, do you want any sandwiches or anything? And my dad said, no, we're okay. Speak for yourself, dad, I'll have them. So Sylvia's just made me some butties. Oh yes, getting really looped after here. Well, I am. Mm -hmm. Just 
just finishing this plaster off now, absolutely steaming. Whew, cooped up in this little box. Look at this, Santex in all the old brick look up and everything. <laughs> 